Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. In this video we're going to be doing an upgrade to our fuse in our little pinky SE which is our mains power supply for our Cambridge Audio DAC Magic. Uh, basically we're going to be fitting an audio file fuse in which we'll show you now. Now this is the, uh, the fuse. Now this is a Hi-Fi Tuning Supreme fuse. Basically it uses um, 99% pure silver and then 1% pure gold um, on, on the end caps and the fuse burn wire as well. Uh, this also has an anti resonant tube inside uh, to stop any resonance uh, going through the fuse and also this is deep cryogenically treated. Um, these work out to around uh, 35 pounds, that's British pounds. Right, okay, you can see this is the fuse holder in here. It's a bit different to sort of a fuse holder in an amplifier. Uh, basically, you screw it out. Um, what I've done is, uh, prior to the video, I've tested to see what way the electric flows. It's very difficult to work out with this. So uh, what you tend to have to do, which also uh, Hi-Fi Tuning tell you to do, is to, um, although their, their, their fuses are directional, um, it tells you to try it in one way, and then turn it around and try it in the other way and see what way you think sounds the best. Well basically I've sort of guessed on what way the electric runs. So well, I'll pop it in and and, um, and that's what we'll do. So I think the electric's obviously running um, downwards. So basically we'll pop that in there. That's with the arrow pointing that way. Um, and then what we'll be doing, we'll be taking a, a listen to it. And if it isn't correct, then I'll sort of turn it around the other way which is fine. I mean this is a very quick video, it's very easily done, easy to do. Um, so that's the job done there already. Right, so what also what we'll be doing with this uh, with this power supply is uh, in our next video, which is coming up very soon, uh, we'll, we'll be making an isolation table for this and for the DAC Magic. And we've just had our, our whole um, shipment of uh, small oak cones come through. Now generally I, I turn all my own oak cones, I have a wood lathe I'll turn them the whole lot, but for these videos, so I can uh, give you the the, the uh, right information on where to get these from eBay. So I'll be putting all the listings on on the next video where to buy these. Uh, basically, with these are all going to be popped on on the underneath. So basically, what we're doing is we're going to be from uh, before we had this um, little pinky on top of the DAC Magic, but obviously there's noise that comes off of this and it resonates through the the casing of the DAC Magic. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to be putting this on a separate shelf and then obviously oak cones in its own isolation table so we're absolutely taking this to the, to, to the limit um, also this cable that's on there is a stock cable that came with the, uh, the little pinky uh, it says it's an oxygen free copper um, I will probably be looking at some stage to replace this as well So, um, but for now we'll, we'll keep that I'm not entirely sure how good this cable is but it's, uh, it's uh, what it is at the moment um, this is a close up now of the uh, of the mains cable that runs runs the little pinky, uh, as you can see, this is a, a, a rhodium plated Furatech uh, IEC plug. I'll show you the exact number on there. There you go. Okay, that's the number there. And this is this is one of the copper mains cables that I make up myself. You can see, like when I was doing the uh, what makes my my uh, hi-fi system sing. This is. Um, this is extremely thick conductor, it's a 5 mil conductor, I made loads of these, it took me absolutely ages, but um, they, they, they sound really good, and that's obviously the Furtec plug. Um, if you can see, this is the, the my gripe with these Furtec plugs, is the, uh, the plating is not that great, and uh, over a period of time, they sort of, um, the, 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 um, the gold plating tends to uh, yellow a little bit, or orange up slightly, so uh, I'll take a little bit of Brasso pad and just clean up the contacts to, to regenerate the uh, the contact um, but uh, obviously the more you take this in and out, out the plug the more it, the, the plating tends to get scratched and it's, it's, it's not great I find with the uh, the MK Tough plug, the silver plated MK Tough plug, it doesn't tend to do that I think it's purely based on the uh, the, the base material on this which is bronze uh, high conductivity bronze and I think it's because the, uh, the bronze is possibly softer than the brass that's on the other plug, uh, which bronze is obviously a better conductor than brass, so I mean these do sound good, but they're, they're highly expensive and, and the plating's a bit iffy for me, but um, you know, uh, they are still a very good plug, so that's that. Right, okay, so what we're going to be doing now, is we're going to be plugging our, our little pinky SE in, trying it out and seeing what we think the sound sounds best, so we'll unscrew the, the fuse and uh, 
and uh, take it from there really. So that's that. Right, okay, one thing I failed to say is uh, the whole reason we change these stock fuses is these are made very cheaply. Um, the base materials, poor quality. Um, they, these, these fuses, I know a lot of people think they're snake oil. I, I keep mentioning that because I have a lot of uh, comments about snake oil and all sorts of stuff. But unless you've tried one, don't comment. These are actually extremely good. I mean, you get a hell of a lot more clarity in the music. Um, they really are are not to be overlooked. So, um, so that's that's what I want to say on that. Um, so we won't tell you what way we've we've changed the fuse round. Uh, it's going to take too long. Um, so all I want to say now is uh, obviously thanks for watching again. Um, uh, don't forget to like my videos. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. So thanks again for watching.